No, dude, yeah. you didn't you didn't attempt the three pointer tonight. Was that a mindset going into the game, or just something that occurred through the natural flow of things? <clears throat> it was just something that occurred. A lot of teams, uh, so far, it seems like they're trying to do the uh, same thing they did last year as far as putting a smaller guy on me, which I don't know why people do that. So uh, I just tried my best to take advantage of my height and size on the inside. Jim. Zach and Nigel, did you um, like what you saw from the freshmen, particularly Charlie and Alex, uh, during that first half run where you guys kind of stretched the lead out? Yeah, I think both of them put, played pretty solid. Uh, took care of the took took care of the glass for us, for us, which is always helpful. Uh, they both knocked down some jumpers, which stretches the defense for those driving lines for Nigel and myself and B. So yeah, they played solid. Uh, hopefully, we can keep it going and keep getting some more wins. <coughs> I agree with Shoei. They did a better job of um, we always try to preach play with confidence on offense and play solid on defense, and they did that. And as you saw during that streak. During that streak, um, we were able to get a lot of things going, and we got cooking. <laughs> Jeff, Charlie, over on the side. Um, you know, kind of getting back to how you played today, you looked more comfortable today than maybe at Syracuse. Is it just a matter of one game to the next that perhaps even you don't know how it's going to turn out until you get on the court? Um, I just think it's uh, just me becoming more comfortable in the game, uh, just taking the advantage of the best opportunities, hitting the open shot going for the offense and defensive boards. And I think I just did a good job of that today, just hustling overall and just trying to contribute all around. Zach, um, how far has this team come defensively? I know you still have a long ways to go, I imagine you're going to say, but how far have you guys come over the first few weeks of the season? Uh, yeah, we've come a long ways. You know my answer already, my default answer to that question. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress every day. I mean, it's it's mainly communication for us right now, just trying to figure each other out and figure out when to, when to switch and when, when not to. So it, it's come a long way. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do, obviously, but we're getting there. Tom, after uh, Oklahoma and today, it seems to me, it seems that you're kind of in a defensive stopper role, do you relish that role? Is that some a challenge that you're starting to take on here? Uh, most definitely. I, uh, it's always a joy to, you know, go out and guard the other team's best player and <coughs> for them to score, you know, not only below their average, but to try and hold them well below their average. Uh, it only makes sense if you can take the best player in the other team and keep them from scoring and impacting the game. It makes it uh, that much easier for, for your team to win. And plus it's, um, is a challenge that I think uh, great players aspire and look to playing um, great on both sides of the ball, offense and defensively. So it's uh, definitely a task I enjoy, and definitely it'll be much harder, I think, as the season goes on and get in the Big Ten play. Jeff, for Zach again, kind of back to the, the defense a little bit. You mentioned switching. There were some times you were down in the post again today on a bigger guy, and you had some bigs trying to keep guards from penetrating. Mm -hmm. Do you think this team has the personnel to do that a lot, to switch a lot, where a big can keep a guard out of the lane, at least not let him just blow by like there's no one there? Yeah, I mean, we don't ideally want to get in that situation. Um, but sometimes that's just that's what, what, how you end up uh, being in position. Um, if it's a shooter, um, probably it's more ideal to, to change that one. So I don't obviously want to be playing against a, a big 6'10", 250 guy every day in the post. But if, if it goes to that situation, I'm pretty comfortable there. John, uh, for Nigel, as I adjust my camera here, um, y you guys knew with this being a young team that this was going to be a process. But are you guys starting to to realize some of the potential that you guys have as a team? <coughs> uh, definitely, as I said, I think in a part with you in a couple interviews earlier, um, Egypt wasn't built in a day, so it's definitely uh, a growing process that uh, you know it's definitely exciting to be a part of. Uh, but as I've always tried to, you know, remind the guys and tell everyone, championships, uh, at least I haven't seen a national championship, Big Ten championship, or any one in November and December. So we're just trying to work, shore things up. Uh, the more we can progress, as long as we're taking steps forward, 
uh, and in the right direction offensively and defensively, I think we'll be fine. Anything else for the players? All right, thanks, guys. Yep.